This is Threads versus Twitter. There was a day where everybody was like, oh my God, I love Threads. I can't stand Twitter. I'm off. I'm going to go black as Threads. So take a look at this. Boom. Threads is ahead of Twitter. For how long? Half a second. And then all of a sudden, where does it go? Boom. It's trending in a bad way, and it's forgotten. I'll go to the next one. Uh, I send you two of them, and this is the other one as well. Yeah. Look what's happened there. It's pretty much done. I've sent two things on Threads just to see what it lo uh, looked like yeah. and how it's done. And then it's going back, back to, Twitter. to Twitter. By the way, there's a couple things here with Threads because you know Threads. First off, if you were to do a Google search on the the mainstream media hits, if you just check Threads, right? Like they are loving Threads, right? They want everyone to know that the celebrities yeah. are moving to the Threads yeah. blown up. Yep. It's all great if you just do a news search. It's all going to be good. There might be one or two things about now how Zuck is using it a little bit less, uh, but everything will basically be positive. Then if you do a Google news search on Twitter, it's all negative. It's always Elon did this, hate speech, this, blah yeah. blah blah. So all that, but the, the bigger idea with Threads is that what in the world would you have to be thinking to go to, a, to follow Mark Zuckerberg, the guy who admitted that he was working with the government to censor people during COVID, he's now saying to everybody, hey, I am creating a censorship style Twitter, please follow me to that. And, and apparently 100 million people followed him and then very quickly got bored of it. But the very concept that you would, that you would build a new tech company, a new product, an app, based in censorship, and that a crazy amount of people actually want to follow you to that world. I mean, that's a very reverse matrix red pill situation I'll, I'll there. Give like real He's life doling out blue oh, pills sorry. and people are going, yes, I'd like another. <laughs> I'll give a real life example that's just basically reaffirming what you guys are saying. So I used to be in the nightlife business, so you can substitute restaurant for it or, or pretty much anything. The, the blue line is the, your, your venue, your established nightlife club, your restaurant, whatever. Oh, there's a new restaurant down the block. They're going to open up. They're going to kick your ass. Opening night, there's a line out the block. It's yep. like what we would say in nightlife is, talk to me in a year. Is the club still even going to be there? Because it's all about sustainability. And look, opening night, they killed it. Everyone's talking about threads. A week later, nobody's talking about threads. Mm -hmm. Now talk to me in a year. So let's see if that club still opens. It's back. not easy. This game is not easy. I mean, listen, right. uh, uh, Threads is the new Google Plus is what it is. <laughs> the, the, the number one website you and I go to to search things is Google. And they try to create a social media company. And when's the last time you thought about Google Plus? Well, actually, when is the last no. time you logged on to go to Google Plus? Does it even exist? I, yeah. can I, you it doesn't, I, don't, I don't even think it exists anymore. How many active it's, users are there on Google Plus? Oh, actually, there no, it is. They, start, they defunct. shut it down in 2019. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine the number really? one searched website in the world yeah. launches a social yes. media company based on the search website, Google.com, and they failed. Mm -hmm. And now Facebook is doing... Right. Can well, I, can you I know, tell you... You can also look at CNN Plus. They're doing well. Where, they where they are they killing it. They crushed it. How are they doing? Every I, plus you know which one is, I Oh, they love? shut down? Oh, my the bad. The best oh, I interview I saw on that. CNN Plus is... The, one, the best bad. interview I saw on CNN Plus is the one Carrie Lake did. It was amazing. She crushed it on that one interview. I don't know if you remember that or not. Oh, you're talking about when she went with right. the reporter and yes. she's yeah. like, where is this? How is that doing? Can I... You'll love this, Pat. So, you know, when I created Locals.com, really what I was creating, it was before we... It wasn't even called Locals. All I was trying to do was I wanted to build a subscription network for myself, the ability just basically to take what Patreon does and replicate it so I own it so I could never be kicked off it and build that for my business. We, we built that for me first. And then after about two months realizing, wow, we're making money, this thing's working, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. If this thing works for me, there's a million creators like me out there. Why don't we see if we can expand on this? And then we started the company. We obviously got some investment, built out the company and all of those things. But I think what we did first that worked, that Threads did not do, and all of these apps don't do, is we had a, we had a problem that needed to be solved. And we went to solve that problem. You don't want to be reliant on big tech. You want to be an independent creator. Here are the tools to go ahead and do that. And that's what we built. And that's why we merged with Rumble and that, that whole story. Threads was not trying to solve a problem. No, because their, the, what their, their perceived problem was that there is too much free speech, but that's not a real problem. So everyone going to threads was in essence trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. You know what I mean? So when he says on day one, when they launched the thing, uh, Zuckerberg put up a tweet. He said, well, we want this place to be fun. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, that's not really what yeah. the problem is, that people aren't having fun online. Yeah. I think of Mark Zuckerberg, I think of fun. fun. Yeah. Yep, he's the but, man. But, but what he also meant right under fun was censored. 
right? Because the only way you keep this thing fun and light and happy and everyone smiling, you're gonna have to censor the shit out of an awful lot of people. So he solves a problem that did not exist. And I think people start intuitively realizing that over a couple of weeks and that leads to where we're at. And by the way, I will say this. He may not look like he's a fun guy. Trust me, Zuckerberg is having a lot of fun, whether it's jujitsu, whether it's mm -hmm. water skiing. The stuff that he's doing is crazy how active he is out there. Well, so he's an alien. Maybe so he aliens is, don't he's get tired. boring on the outside. It's amazing what a $100 billion dollars will do to uh, enable yeah, you to have fun. some fun. No, believe it, believe it or not, no, no, there's a lot of billionaires who will never do shit like this, and they just want to count their money. Look at that Zuck's alien actually go. out there. And by 89. Technically, no, he's a humanoid robot. He's a humanoid not, 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 not a guy yeah. that's got a Zuck poster. I'm sitting and endorsing this. I'm just saying, this guy looks yeah. like he's having a fun life. But you know, it's funny you say that. How many of your DMs on Instagram do you respond to? Me personally, almost nothing. But that guy right there handles it. Phoenix does? Okay. Uh, Brock, yeah. Brock, yeah. Oh, okay. H Brock, how many, love you. How many uh, of your Twitter messages do you respond? Is it also somebody Vir else? Virtually nothing. Do you respond to any one of them? I respond to things on Locals. You respond to things because on Because I built it so that if you really want to contact me and you want to have a conversation locals. with me, yeah, you got you got to you. You pony up a couple I got bucks. You. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.